Say hi! Say hi to the vlog! Kylo says hi! <laughs> ah, hey guys, um, I just came back from my OB appointment in the city, um, so please excuse my haggard face. I've been wearing a mask all day. So we're still in lockdown here in Melbourne. 39 weeks now and still no signs of labor. I haven't noticed my water breaking or losing my mucus plug. So my ultrasound today showed my fluids were a bit low or inadequate for the baby and I had a CTG as well just to see how the baby was going. Um, luckily the results were all fine and the baby's nice and happy in there. Now when I went back to my OB he mentioned there were two options on how to get baby G delivered. The first one was to get induced and probably only about 20-25% of that would mean a normal um, vaginal delivery. Um, most likely it would turn out to be an emergency caesar um, if I went down that option um, based on the conditions. So he was recommending probably an elective caesar instead. Um, mainly because it was the safest option for the baby. So, around this time tomorrow, Kyla's gonna have a baby brother. Fingers crossed, everything's gonna be alright. Luckily, they do allow your partner or your spouse to be there throughout the whole stay um, and throughout the whole procedure. So George is gonna be there. Um, but he'll probably go home and then come back the next day. So yeah, that's the update. We'll see you soon, baby G. Kylo, say goodbye. Bye. Less than 12 this? hours. Ready for this? Kylo's ready. Mm. Is Kylo ready? Kylo? Hello. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? We'll see baby G soon. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. And I'm just gonna have some breakfast before I start fasting. So they only said only a light meal, so I've got my oats, some crackers, and then I'll start on clear fluids um, right after I finish this. <laughs> We are now off to the hospital. I've got to be in by half past 10, so we thought we'll just leave early. I think I've got everything prepped. Let's go.